Buenos días, señores. Bienvenidos otra vez a una clase de español. Hoy vamos a hablar de los verbos con cambios en la raíz. Vamos a hablar de los verbos con cambios en la raíz. No es algo muy difícil, es algo que más o menos hemos visto ya antes, pero que hoy vamos a considerarlo eh, específicamente y más oficialmente. Welcome back to Spanish. Today we're going to be talking about stem changing verbs. Stem changing verbs is a topic which we've informally sort of seen already. Uh, and so this should be in some ways recognizable to you today, but um, which today we'll look at more officially and more in depth. Now, before we even look at the verbs, it's important, I always think, when learning a new grammatical concept, to consider the name of the concept. And so, today we're looking at stem changing verbs. So think about what that means. What that means is that these are verbs whose stem changes. Pretty simple. So, a stem changing verb is a verb whose stem changes. These are also often called boot verbs. And the reason we call them boot verbs is because as you'll see in a moment, the ways in which they change conform to the shape of a boot. In order for this to work, it's important that you've been writing your verbs the way that I've been writing them all along in the two columns, with the singular column and the plural column, uh, and, then, uh, and then three rows, the first person, second person, and third person rows, with that sort of block shape. So if you write them like that, you'll find that it's much easier to remember how stem changing verbs work. Now, Normally, verbs are not stem changing, meaning if we've been conjugating, say, the verb hablar, to speak, the way that we've always conjugated this verb is to take off the ending, the AR, right, leaving us with a root or a stem called, uh, that would be H-A-B-L, habl, and to that root or stem, we've been adding a series of endings. In the case of hablar, it would be O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, AN. In stem-changing verbs, the endings will continue to be the same. We will not see any strange endings. So AR verbs will still end in O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, AN. Um, ER and IR verbs will end as they normally do with regular stem-changing verbs. So regular stem-changing verbs will continue to be regular in the sense that their endings are regular. However, their stem will change in some of the forms. So, let's take a look at an example. We look here at the verb preferir, preferir, which means to prefer. Notice if we divide the word up, we have a stem, which in this case is prefer, and we have an ending. This is an IR verb, so the ending is IR. This is an E to IE stem changing verb which is the only type of stem-changing verb we'll be looking at today. There are two other kinds of stem-changing verbs. There are E to I stem-changing verbs and O to U E stem-changing verbs, which you'll see in the future. But for now, we're only looking at and only considering E to I E stem-changing verbs. So when you look in your book and you're learning new vocabulary and you see this strange E to I E, many books write it E to I E like that, that's what that means. So, there'll be no vocabulary that you learn that will be a surprise stem-changing verb. If you learn a new vocabulary word, and it is a stem-changing word, stem-changing verb, it will indicate that stem change next to it. So, let's look at the way it changes. If we look at this verb, this is our root or our stem. We know it's going to be stem-changing. We know it's E to I-E. The E that's going to change is this E that's closest to the end. That can be confusing at times, so don't just go changing any E you want. The E that we change is the E that is closest to the end of the verb. So, notice here, we would expect the verb to be prefero, but instead that E has changed to an IE ear here. Prefiero. It is also changed here. Prefieres. It is also changed here. Prefiere. Notice the endings are all regular. O, S, E. 
Here, we do not see a stem change. There's no stem change here. It is preferimos. Same here, no stem change. Preferis. And here, once again, we see the stem change with prefiere. Notice why I call it a boot verb. I've drawn our boot around it. We can draw some laces if you like. Maybe a sock or a leg coming out of it. Okay, but basically, within the boot, the verb has this stem change. Outside of the boot, there is no stem change. That's important to remember. So, let's look at one more verb as an example. We can look at the verb comenzar, which means to begin or to commence. This is an AR verb now, but it's also an E to IE stem changing verb. So look at our root here. There's our root. The E is what we're looking at. The E is what's going to be changing. And so, the yo form will experience the change, comienzo. The tu form will also show a change, comienzas. The el form, the el, ella, usted form will also have a change, comienza. Our nosotros form will not have a change. Comenzamos. Our vosotros form will likewise not have a change. Comenzáis. And our ellos, ellas, ustedes form will have a change. Comienza. Okay, remember that boot. Remember as well as I said that there are irregular stem changing verbs. We've seen them before. We saw, for instance, tener and venir. Tener and venir were both E to IE stem changing verbs, but they had an irregular yo form. Right? Tener, if you remember, was tengo, and then tienes, tiene, tenemos, tenéis, and tienen. That was an E to IE stem changing verb, though we may not have uh, spoken about it as such but it had an irregular dual form. However, in a regular stem-changing verb, everything should be regular, except for the fact that the stem is changing a little bit. Okay, so that's the only thing that's going on that's weird here. Everything else in this verb is regular. Our endings are regular. Everything else looks normal, except that within this boot, our stem is changing. Some other verbs that you're going to see will include Empezar, which also means to begin. Entender, to understand. Pensar, which means to think. And querer, which means to want or sometimes to love. This is the famous one that you've seen, that little chihuahua talking years ago, uh, five, ten years ago, on the Taco Bell commercials with Yo quiero Taco Bell. When he was saying that, that's the stem change. The verb is querer. But it's yo quiero, tu quieres, el quiere. Then queremos, queréis, no stem change. And then ellos quieren, with the stem change again. Okay, so that's basically it for stem changing verbs. Again, these are E to I, E stem changing verbs. We will see at a later point E to I stem changing verbs, as well as O to U, E stem changing verbs. But for today, all that we're looking at is the E to I, E. Okay? That's it. Muchas gracias, mucha suerte, y adiós.